What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another best tweak of the day video. We're taking a look at snowboard. Now I'm sure a lot of you might know about snowboard, but if you don't, stay tuned into this video because I'm going to be showing you some pretty cool tricks with the tweak that you might not know about and also doing a full rundown of the tweak and how it works and all the little tricks you can do with it. It's actually a really cool tweak. So uh, basically what snowboard, snowboard does is it allows you to theme your device. So snowboard is the tweak. All themes will have to be downloaded separately. So keep that in mind. Uh, snowboard is just basically the tweak that runs the themes, allows you to apply them to your icons on your device. Um, and that's pretty much it. But there's a lot of really cool things you can do with snowboard that I wanted to show you guys really quickly. So as you guys can probably tell, uh, my, de my device here is very much themed. Um, and I'll go over those themes in a minute for those of you that want to know what themes I'm using. So let's go ahead and let's jump into the settings. Let's go ahead and swipe down to tweaks here and let's swipe all the way down until we see snowboard. Now I really like the way that the settings is set up for snowboard. It's really quite simple uh, and there's a lot you can do with it surprisingly. So uh, first off is the on off switch. Love tweaks that do that. If you want to shut it off, just toggle that. If you want it back on, just toggle it back on. Super simple. Next up is the select theme section. So any themes that you download uh, will show up here. Like I said, snowboard comes by itself. There's no themes with it. It's just the engine to apply the themes. So we'll go ahead and select themes. Uh, and these are the themes that I'm currently using right here. So these are the applied themes at the top. There's a slight space here. And then these are all of the themes that I'm not uh, using right now. So you can have multiple themes downloaded and you can arrange them uh, or use them as you like. So if I get sick of these themes, I can disable all of them and then I can pick a different theme that I might have. Uh, so a little bit more about the selected or using themes at the top here. This is basically a layered system. Uh, so the topmost theme here is the priority. So any icons that that has will show up and then um, it's layered, like I said. So uh, Flux has some really cool icons, but any icons that they don't theme, Muse 4 might theme. So then those will show up. And if there's any icons that Muse 4 doesn't theme and Bohemic does, those will show up. So it's just a layer system. Um, you can rearrange the layer to however you want. So if we quickly take a look at my icons, you can see what they look like. If we go back in here and I change the Bohemic theme to be the topmost layer, and then we exit out, the Flux icons are still there, but Bohemic is priority and it's on the topmost layer. So it's showing mainly all of their themes. As you can see, my mail application at the top there, that's a flux theme, Bohemic does not have a theme for that. So that's basically how this section, the select theme section works. And you can rearrange that however you want. Now a cool little trick uh, about uh, enabling or disabling the themes to be in the enabled section is when you have a lot of themes like I do, it gets really annoying to be, let's say, way down in the list here and you want to use this theme. You know, dragging and sliding this all the way up, it, it can be really annoying. But a little trick that you can do is just tap the theme and as you guys seen it disappeared so what it did is it basically by tapping it it put it to the bottom most layer in the used section really cool and if you want to take it out just tap it like so and it takes it and puts it back down into the unused theme section so that's a really nice little trick to know for those of you that use this tweak a lot and you like to switch your theme up you can just tap them and it does uh, use and remove them from the the used section so that's the select uh, theme section Next is the icon options. There's some really cool options here. Um, I was just recording this and I had to do a take two because for some reason messing around with the custom corner radius caused a respring, which wasn't really cool. But you can change the custom corner radius of your icons by enabling that toggle. And as you can see, I'm turned all the way up to the slider there. So that basically makes my icons circle. So if we exit out, as you can see, all of my icons are now circle. And if we go back in, we can adjust that corner radius all the way to the most extreme, all the way to the left, and that makes it a perfect square. If we exit out, as you can see, all of my icons are now square. So that's a really cool feature uh, of Snowboard, being able to adjust the corner radius of your icons to be you know, an extreme, either way, circle or square, or in between, wherever you want. Uh, another cool thing is you have a custom icon scale. So if you wanna make your icons bigger, you can, or if you wanna make them itty bitty, you can with the icon scale. Uh, so that's a really cool feature. You have the ability to hide the icon labels, which I do have enabled. I like having no icon labels. I think it's a clean look. And then you can hide label dots. 
uh, with that toggle as well. You have the ability to clear alternative icons and force refresh at the bottom. And that's pretty much it for the tweak. There are some hidden things though I want to show you guys, or at least one hidden thing um, that's really handy to know, especially for those of you that are like me and using multiple themes. So if we exit out of Snowboard, let's go ahead and put our icons into wiggle mode. So since I have multiple themes enabled, I can choose multiple different icons for individual app icons. So if we just double tap onto an app icon while it's in wiggle mode, as you can see, it shows you the alternative icons. So let's say I wanted to use this one instead. I can switch it out just as easy as that, and then I can take it out of wiggle mode, and then that icon will stay. So that's a really cool feature um, of Snowboard, being able to pick and choose which icons you want to use. So the layer system doesn't really matter you know, until you start messing around like this. So if you wanted to change the TweetBot icon, I have, you know, alternative icons to choose from. And it really depends on which, um, you know, icons the uh, the themes have that you're using. So keep that in mind. Uh, but it's still, nonetheless, a really cool feature being able to switch between all of these different icons. As you can see, um, uh, the Reddit there, that, that has quite a few different ones I could choose from. So it's really nice being able to switch between these icons to set it up however you want. Didn't mean to open you. Let's check out what alternative icons you have. So actually, I like that black one. That one looks pretty cool. Uh, for CalcBot, we have a couple here. That one looks pretty neat. So as you can see, you can really fully customize uh, the themes on your device by using that. And it's a really, really cool feature. Now there's one more thing I do want to add about editing these icons uh, from this wiggle mode. So if we double tap it, as you can see, there's a couple of different things down here. You have your alt icons. There's a all icons button there and then there's the photos option so if you wanted to customize your icons with photos you can actually do that so we're going to go ahead and open up my photos and i'm just going to choose an image we'll choose let's say this one and let's say we want to use this photo for the app icon you can literally sit here and create it however you want you can click done and that's your app icon that's insane to me so you can use your own photos uh, to edit these app icons and I think that that's absolutely awesome that you have the ability to do that with snowboard it's it's pretty insane and then as you can see it saves under the uh, al alternative icons um, and in the settings you guys remember that setting that allows you to refresh the alternative icons uh, you can click that button and I believe that will erase that out of there but you still have the ability to create your own icons from photos on your device which is pretty damn cool um, and that's pretty much all of the features of Snowboard. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this best tweak of the day video. If you guys did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.